Hello everyone and welcome back to Crazy Country Couponer and it's Jenny the Crazy Country Couponer and as you can see well I don't have no Tide because everybody's showing you how to get the Tide. I don't have no gain because I already told you how to get the gain and everybody's showing you how to get the gain. What I do have however is food and I got it all for under a dollar and you know you want to know. So go ahead, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, ask your friends to share with their friends, ask your friends to come on over, because everybody wants to know how we get everything we purchase for a dollar or less, and they need to know this, yes they do, so make sure you share, and they'll love you for it. And if you're not a crazy friend or a subscriber, will you take a moment, hit that subscription button and that notification bell, because you don't want to miss any of these crazy country couponers, deals, deals, glitches, free stuff, awesome information, because I got some for you tonight. And tons of love and great vibes, guys and gals. Okay? Crazy friends, come on in. Yeah. Hope you're ready, because let the soapbox begin. Ah, uh, yes, we're doing it first. Yes, we are, and then we're going to get to the deals, because they're going to go hand in hand tonight. Why? Well, don't watch the news, guys and gals. What I do watch is what people say on our internet and our platforms that are still basically free and uncensored. I am appalled. I don't care how you think of or who you think of. Or what you think of is what's going on in Washington, D.C. But I am appalled that our president, who's still our president, has been blocked from social media. Hmm. Makes me wonder why. Why would you go to such an extent to block someone from all sources of social media? And then why would you even go so far as to... Boot out a platform that is paying you rent because you offered a platform for our president to speak to us, to communicate with us, okay? The people of the United States, not just his supporters, but the people of the United States, of whom he is still the president until the 20th. That the media and social media would have the cojones and think that they had to write to censor the information from our president. I'm appalled. Just say it. But just think. What else have they censored? What else have we not heard? If they're going to censor that, what have we been spoon-fed? Okay? Even on our social media. And, of course, we all know about what's going on on Facebook and social media. You know, you say something that Zuckerberg don't like, off you go. Okay? And it don't matter. It could have been 25 million people just said it prior to you. Okay? But that's what's going on today. That being said, with our social media blackout from our president and the almost media blackout of the normal processes and normal things that would be shown to us that our president is doing in these last days. We're not even being um, shown that as normally we would have, okay, or told about it as normally we would have. It's almost like a media blackout of the last few days of our president unacceptable this is total censorship in the united states by the highest of folks okay but that being said look around you we got troops being put in all of our capitol buildings we got barbed wire being placed around our Capitol buildings. We got massive amount of troops being stationed at Washington, D.C. Massive amounts on our own soil. And I want to tell you for a fact, for a fact, 
our military have been been trained in rural combat. Okay, rural domestic combat. That means they have been trained to fight on the streets of America. I know this for a fact. I'm ex-military. This started years ago. Years ago, this started training the troops to fight on city streets. Okay? And then they started militarizing the police by giving them militarized gear and a new agenda. Scary thought. But now you have these folks have all these troops stationed at our capital and around our country. And a media blackout to our president. What the... <clears throat> excuse my French, cover your kids' ears. HD... Uh, HE <laughs> double hockey sticks. Oh my gosh, is going on. We don't know. That's just it. We got no idea we're blacked out. But what you do know, something big is brewing, okay? And with the troops, you know it ain't good. And you know it's on our soil. You know it's going to affect us. And I don't care what you think, if you think it's conspiracy theory, or you think that it can't happen here in the United States, and after what just happened last week, holy moly, how can you think that? Craziness is happening here in the United States. Absolute anarchy. And we're, well, pretty much every family for themselves at this point because the government's not helping us, they're blacking us out. So, to that end, guys and gals, we know something's coming, something big, a change, whatever it may be. But for whatever reason, if there is any other kind of blackout, such as a internet shut off, the stores will only be working on a cash basis. If they're working at all. So by the 20th. Please go take you out some cash out of your bank. Have you enough cash at least for 7 days. Gas up all your cars. And I mean all of them. If you got spare car batteries around your house. Charge them up. And put them up. And go buy you a converter at Walmart. To plug your fridge in should you need it. I'm not saying this to scare anyone. I'm saying this because I want you to be prepared. And the good Lord gave me this platform for a reason, guys and gals, and I don't know why. And when I tell you these things, I tell you these things because it's laid on my heart to tell you. So, take this time before the 20th. Get everything, your ducks in a row. Get your water. Get your storm supplies going okay like a big storm is coming because a big storm is coming so get your storm supplies going everything stocked up as best you can with what you got okay because like i said we don't know what's going to happen got no idea what is going on in this country you know three years ago we could have told you but we can't tell you today guys and gals because even if we would say there's no way it can happen here in the United States because it is totally against the Constitution and it is totally not going to... Yes, it will happen because they don't care no more. All righty? They don't care about the Constitution anymore. They don't care about your rights. They care only for the little war that is going on up in D.C. between two fractions. And that's all that is. The people are irrelevant. And their suffering is irrelevant. So we got to take care of our own and ourselves these days, guys and gals. And to that end, like I said, and I preach all the time, do your best to become self-sufficient while we have the time. But more importantly, by the 20th, please get as much stuff as you can set up like you're going to weather a storm. And that storm's going to take you a week. Okay? All right. Off the soapbox. Yes, I'm getting off the soapbox. That was the message I just had to share with you guys and gals. Like I said, craziness abounds in our world these days. 
So to the best that we can, let's be prepared. And in this deal, it don't even have to be about preparedness or stocking up. If you got kids, well, <laughs> this is the kids' delight bundle, okay? That's what this is. Because in here, we got all kinds of snacks. We got all kinds of cereals, candy. We got pet food. We got all kinds of goodies. So, let's get to our goodies. <laughs> oh, first deal that I did tonight was basically a food deal. I took advantage of the Kellogg's and, excuse me, the Kellogg's $3 instant savings. If I can find it here. I'm trying to give these to you in order of how I did them. And this is just one store tonight, pretty much. Okay, here we go. First up, we're going to kind of roll through this. And uh, I know you guys kind of like to see the things bundled together. And I tried to get them as close together as I could. But hopefully the receipt will be good enough. We got candy, guys and gals, and lots of candy. Um, we got the Kit Kats, and we got two of the single Reese Cups, and we got four of the Reese Hearts. Because we had to buy one, get one free coupon, and we have the $2 off when you spend 7 And I'm wondering if it actually did come off. Because the last time it did not. And it actually looks like it did not come off. And you know sometimes when I'm looking at these receipts. This is the first time I'm seeing these receipts. Is with you guys. So if you find something or you see something that I'm not seeing. Hey, feel free to let me know. The bugles were buy two get one free. Let's see, there's some store discounts for those. This is the one thing I really hate about how they do these receipts. When you've got store discount coupons, they come up as the store, as the DG say, uh, store discount, just like the 5 off 25 does. And the DG savings... is the percentage that's coming off to give you that deal you know buy two get one free that's the dg savings so the nacho cheese bugles they came off like they were supposed to the skinny pop of course had to be keyed in that's why it says 99 cent minus 99 cent because they had to key it in the digital pirates boot day came off And we got the big ink pens. And I'm going to let you look at this real quick. And then I'm going to tell you about this deal. Because this deal gives you a dollar in overage. And it's still available to you all next week. I'm pretty sure. But I will check the coupon real quick to make sure. The big razors, however, did expire tonight. I got an Airwick refill. With a two dollar coupon, and it was two fifty. And then here is the Kellogg's deal. We had two boxes of Apple Jacks with a dollar off, and they are supposed to be two for five when you buy two. And uh, we've got a couple of store discounts, so I'm assuming one of those is for that, and the other is for the um, five off. The same goes here. We've got two store discounts on that one. I got one Jif to go peanut butter. It was the last one they had, and I had a 75 cent off of that. And then we got the Cheez Its also to go with the Kellogg's deal because we had a dollar off of two. And you see the store discounts coming off of them as well. And then we got the Nutter Butters. Now, these Nutter Butter cookies. right here 
or a dollar. And I had a 75 cent on two paper coupon that is glitching and attaching to this. And it is a paper coupon. Okay. So, really quick. Let me do the disclaimer. Because this is still good. Okay. So, what is... And it is good on the little cups of Nabisco cookies as well. What is a glitch? A glitch is a coupon or an offer that's not working the way it's intended to work. It's working to our advantage and we're taking advantage of it. Okay, that being said, read your coupons. Know what you're doing before you do it. If you are not comfortable doing these deals the way I show you they can be done, simply do them the way the coupon reads and you'll be happy and I'll be happy. If you're not 18, do not do paper glitches. All glitches come with a risk. The risk is normally verbal and computational and you don't want to get involved with any of that. So, guys and gals, Glitch or no glitch, your choice. <laughs> okay, now back to our receipt. Uh, another butters, and we picked up a Rolades, which was also a glitching coupon, giving us some overage from Sunday's paper. And we picked up these Scorching Pringles barbecue chips because I had an exclusive coupon for them for a penny. Only on one of my accounts. Um, there's something new, I guess. So I use that account. And it warrants going through all your accounts. Because they're going to get some coupons on some of your accounts. That you don't get on others. Because on one of my accounts. I finally got that 3 off of 6 Reese's. That everybody was talking about. And I hadn't seen it until this morning. Okay. So I was able to finally take advantage of that. Now this particular transaction was 27 items guys and gals a savings of $31.59 yes and an out of pocket of $10.01 now that is a definite winner winner chicken dinner all right my second transaction before we move on to our next deal let me tell you about the big deal because this big deal is still available to you all during the week, as well as on Saturday, okay? At least as far as I know, these big pins will still be on sale. And even if they're not, just make some adjustments, and it will still work for you, okay? Now, these big pins are a dollar a piece. You have a digital coupon for $2 off when you spend $5 on big products, okay? You also have paper coupons. Your digital coupon is a store coupon, which will stack with these paper coupons. You're going to pick up four big products, so you're going to use two of these paper coupons and your digital. That's six dollars. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to have a dollar in overage with these products right here. And I like these ink pens, and I wanted these ink pens. That's why I did it this way. Instead of getting a bunch of these ink pens, which I don't like, and I'll probably donate somewhere. But I did do this deal a couple of times because it gave me that dollar in overage. And here is that coupon. And it is good into the 30th. Okay. Now, my next deal was my cat food deal. Which was a 20-pound bag of Nine Lives cat food for $13.95. With that, I got Kitten Chow, which was $5.50, believe it or not, for just 3 point some odd pounds compared to that bad boy. Wow. I had a $2 coupon paper from the Perina. I had $1.25 digital for the Nine Lives. I picked up the Big Soleil Razors, which is another paper coupon that has given us overage. I actually did... Did I do two of these? Nope, I just did one of those. I also did another one of these big pen deals with this. And I picked up two Pregos. We have a 75 cent coupon off two, and these are on sale, two for three. I got some Rolades, which is also a glitching coupon, which we talked about before. And that was 11 items, 
total savings of $25.98. Wow. For $10.57, guys and gals, that's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And that means this giant thing of cat food cost me under a flipping dollar. Yeah. Can you holla? Yeah. Uh-huh. It's something got to make you feel good with all this craziness going on. Okay. Now, next up was my Diet Coke, of course. I picked up two. 12 packs, so you only see one here because there simply wasn't enough room. And we picked up another Big Soleil. It's giving 70 cent overage. That's why we love these Big Soleil coupons so much. Now, every, one of the things people was talking about is their store didn't have them. Um, check these out. These are the new packaging, okay? Now, there is a four count with this. That is $5, okay? So beware of that one. But this is the new packaging for the three count. And I actually have found these in the wrong place, okay? They were under the ones that said $5, but scan them and you'll see they're the 330 ones. They were in the place where they had the Bellas. Now, with this transaction, I got Mucinex. And uh, just so you know, there are paper coupons out of last Sunday's paper, or last week's paper, I believe it was, that is attaching to this, okay? And this is the time of year. We need this stuff. There's a big variety. And the, if you've got enough coupons, well, you can get you enough of this stuff to keep you through the nasty season, okay? For free. And this makes an awesome filler. And look... There's a Peely, guys. We got a Peely. I just seen that. Look, it's a little tiny Peely on this Mucinex. Okay. That's a great filler because it's $5.50, and we got a $5 digital coupon. We already saved $8 right there. This is two items. Now, we also did the Reese's deal again. Only this time, we did it a little bit differently because on this account, this is the account that I actually had the $3 off of six Reese's purchase. Okay. Now, with that coupon, you can use that coupon all by itself any day of the week. Or you can wait again until Saturday because it's good all the way again until Saturday. But... I guarantee you with that coupon, these items right here are going to be gone. So you want to go get it as soon as possible. If you pick up five of these hearts, you're going to be paying something like 93 cent for five of these king size hearts with that coupon. Now you combine these hearts with this other Reese's coupon that you have, which is buy three of these five packs and get one for free. You're going to get a triple dip because you're going to get that two dollar off of ten, uh, seven purchase as well okay this all worked fine together lots of super cheap candy got all that candy for two dollars and like 10 cent guys and gals i think everybody's going to end up with reese's hearts this time with a bow around them <laughs> okay, maybe in maybe I'll take some of that red saran wrap or something and make a little bag. All right, let's go through this receipt really quick. You can see everything came off. Everything came off of this like clockwork. There was no issues whatsoever. And my out-of-pocket was $8.35, which is awesome because two 12-packs of Diet Coke is $9. So I got everything else pretty much for free. My savings was $23.20, and I had 14 items. Again, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. One is another food deal <laughs> because my hubby called me and told me he wanted some hot chocolate. And silly me, I should have just went in here and bought hot chocolate. Because I would have saved, well, I would have come out with a little bit more money. I wouldn't have saved anymore, but I'd have had a little bit more money in my pocket. 
if I had just gotten the hot chocolate. But, you know, that wasn't going to happen. Not when I had more coupons I could use. So I went and got another Skinny Pop. Now, let me tell you about the Skinny Pop dollar coupon. It does beep, okay? But it will be keyed in because the coupon matches no problem. So that stuff there is free. Well, we did the Kellogg's deal again. On this account, I had two different dollar off of two Kellogg's cereal coupons. But guess what, guys and gals? Only one of them came off. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about that as of yet. Because, well, I don't really need all this cereal. <laughs> but I picked up two Frosted Mini Wheats, and I picked up two more of the Apple Jacks. And uh, in a emergency situation, guys and gals, this stuff will keep you alive and keep you full. Because it does have vitamins added in most of the cereals. Okay, and then next up, we picked up our hot chocolate mix. We picked up two of the Nestle hot chocolates because they were a dollar. And then I decided to take advantage again of that Clover Valley coupon, the $2 off of 10 Clover Valley, because I was going to pick up some water, and I picked up two cases of the 32 packs of water that you don't see here. And I could have just got just the gravy to make up the difference. But instead, I picked up some chocolate syrup. And I picked up some crushed pineapple. Remember what I told you, this is simply canned fruit. Good emergency, double duty type food. Same goes for the brown gravy. You could live off of the brown gravy and rice or just brown gravy even if you had to. And you could water it down and make a beef broth out of it if you needed to. Okay, this transaction did not turn out as good as I thought it was going to turn out. Wasn't quite sure why. And I did have a big sole in here. So I did have a little bit of overage. But that was the only one that I had. So this is my receipt for this one. And you can see the store discounts for the Kellogg's. There's two discounts on most of the Kellogg's. Now, the one thing that I don't know, I do not think, I'm, I'm not really sure because I wasn't paying attention at this point. This is my last transaction as good as I should have been. I know when I had him total it, there was a store discount that came off. I do not know if the store discount that came off was the discount to drop these cereals to their price when you purchased two, which should have been $10. Because it does not look like that came off up here. It may have. But what I ended up paying was fifteen twenty six out of pocket for 16 items. Still, again, guys and gals, winner, winner, chicken dinner under a dollar. Yeah. So, everything today worked out like clockwork and all of this stuff is still deals that you can do that are coupons that are still good you've got the overage with the BIC oh and on one of these transactions oh yeah there's that GIF and I wanted to show you your first one for tomorrow in case you missed out on the Reese's okay if you've not used those two Reese's or three Reese's coupons there it is guys and gals you're going to pick up five of the Reese's Hearts, and you're going to have the buy one, get one, buy two, get two free coupon clipped. You're going to have the three off of five or six clipped, and then you're going to have the two off of seven clipped, and the buy three, get one free clipped on the Reese's. Lord, that's a lot of coupons for these little products. And look at here. $10.75 in candy, $8.70 off, leaving you a $2.05 out of pocket. Oh, yes, awesome winner, winner, chicken dinner. So, first deal, you already got. Don't forget, new newspapers come out tomorrow. Pre-order your coupons tonight. 
so I know how many newspapers to pick up tomorrow. And you know, we got gain in our new newspapers and cotton nail. So, get to ordering. You don't want to be left out of these deal steals and glitches. Alrighty, y'all come back and see me again soon. You hear?